Well, I started the small print shop, and a lot of people, you know, we had a high demand, we had a lot of embroidery needs, we had banners, we had stickers, we had vinyls, canvases. You know, we were doing all kinds of things. Think about Nile and the twins, and, you know, we, we were the one-stop shop for a lot of these promotional materials. And so what started as a small nest, and this little bird came in, everybody started flying out and becoming very successful. So people come to me, we get help, we let them grow. So that networking is key, having a friend, having a fraternity brother, knowing the right people to leverage at the right time. You know, you've got to use your parents or your father's friends or your mom's friends or your teachers. The bottom line is use the people you know to maximize what's in your best interest. Ask Bug Pest if that's what it takes, but the ultimate is don't wait for a no. Continue to push and prod until you get that yes. So I'm telling you, you know, I've met some really amazing people. You know, when you might meet them in person, you have no idea who's going to bring what to the table. There's some amazing talents that I've seen. People who've got great artistic ability. Don't underestimate a single person's ability. I learned a long time ago, never underestimate. Talk, give somebody a chance. And I, I, like, I see sparkle, and I'm able to really take advantage of what people can bring to the table because I see so much. So anytime you meet somebody, be open to see what they can give. So it's not about the student is saying, it's not about being the enemy. So what if you're not on the same page? Well, if you're not, the student is saying, well, if you're not on the same page, it's really about finding out what that other person's goals are and then taking a moment of reflection and then you're able to move forward with that. But it's not about blowing through a conversation. Tom is saying, but would you agree or would things fall apart if we, if we were in controversy? Would you agree with me? If there was no teamwork, would things fall apart? And the student is saying, absolutely. Well, great, you've, you've demonstrated my point perfectly. Again, and I'm gonna say this over and over again. People used to tell me no. I was told no all the time in the beginning of my business relationship. I worked hard. I worked hard to make sure my team worked hard. I walked the walk and I talked it, right? So I talked it and I walked it. It was about word of mouth and having people have trust and faith in my ability to do my job, right? You know, who used to tell me no is now telling me yes. You know, how is it that I keep going? I've got a goal that I want to attain. You know, the road might be windy, but I get there. The hustle is required. You've got to have that. You've got to have the drive to continue to work hard. Again, people are going to tell you no, but you've got to have the drive. Right? That's my thing. It's the hustle. Chase that claim. It's the keep going mentality, right? I'm still working hard day and night, spending my time with you. It's about you really learning to hustle. Right? Move forward. Work hard. Don't give up. When people tell you no, just keep going till you get that yes. Right? It could be a business loan that you're trying to acquire. They might tell you no in the beginning, but follow up and be like, hey, how can I improve my financial reports to make sure that I'm showing you what you need to see so that I could get the loan? You know, when they realize that I'm persistent and I'm consistent in my materials, the respect is built and that's when I'm able to get those yeses. Okay, right, you have to think about your message statement, your, your mission statement, what's your goal? You have to have a plan of action. You acquire a team to help you achieve your goals, right? It's about leadership, it's not about being the boss. As long as your team understands what you want, bring them on board and they move those goals forward for you. I'm here today, you know, Route 66 is running itself because I've got a team who knows me, I help them and I intervene when I need to, but if not, I'm able to be here with you tonight. If I couldn't lead my team to manage the business when I'm out, I couldn't be here. If I didn't trust them, I have to let them run their business, right? So the bottom line is follow your goals.